Hello, Mike here. I just want to give you a quick rundown of our AMP situation with I like snaps. As most of you probably already know, we play direct. So that means we don't really bring amps anywhere. We have modeling um, setups and they just go directly into a sound system. But there are situations where we have to bring an amp. So the venue only has a vocal PA or they don't have enough inputs to allow a situation where we're all running direct. So we stepped away from playing with real amps or like tube amps, anything like that. Uh, mostly just because I didn't want to have to try to maintain tubes. I really just want to try to project the sound I'm getting from my modeling or my profiling out to the audience. That's the sound that I hear whenever I'm tracking, uh, whenever we do play direct and whatnot, what's in my ears. So to combat that, we have these two calves made by Mills Custom here in St. Louis. There's two 12s in here, and each of these 12 inch speakers are made by Line 6. It's made for their Catalyst amp series, which are modeling amps based off of their Helix technology. So I thought these would work really well since they are made for modeling. These are be both being powered by a Carvin DCM-150 power amp. This is a Class G power amp with 150 watts. And then the coolest thing I wanted to show you was this preamp here. This is a Golden Age Projects Pre-73 Mach 4 preamp. This preamp is based off of the Neve 1073 preamp, which uh, we hear a lot of our favorite guitar parts from when we were younger. A lot of people track through a Neve 10 1073 console. This is a fairly um, inexpensive preamp, so and it works really well. There's also some other cool features I'll show you here, but first let's just hear the sound of it. The profile that I'm using in my Tone X is based off of a Bad Cat. The microphones I'm using to track the sound of the guitar cab in this room are an Aston Origin condenser microphone and an Apex 210B ribbon microphone. Sounds pretty cool. And I know some of you might be asking, why not just go line level out of your modeler into the amp? I, I wanted to try to capture that sound that you would hear in your car stereo of your favorite guitar part, record, whatever. And then the other part of it is too, is we also use an ear, an ear system and it makes it easier to just keep everything mic level on the modeler or the profiler and send that to our ears and then send the other end to here to raise it up to line level for the amp. Other features that I was mentioning earlier, uh, it's kind of cool that I can goose this preamp and get some harmonic content and some nice saturation that doesn't really make your clean sound sound more dirty, but it just adds a little musical taste to it that you typically wouldn't get if you weren't running through a microphone preamp like this. Another feature that I really like about this is, I don't know if you could tell, but when I was playing that dirty part earlier, there's a lot of low-end content. These speakers were made to model a guitar amp going through a uh, sound system type situation, but this cab adds a lot of its own natural bass. And so sometimes that bass will compound. This preamp here has a 200 Hertz cut so it will take out that low end for me especially when i get into uh louder volumes and then i can let the cab's natural bass response take over <laughs> Let's try it with some distortion. Now, I can't back this gain knob off quite a bit and just add the output transformer and add some volume out that way. And that adds a different type of saturation.
so many cool tonal options you can get with the setup. So that's our setup for when we're playing venues that are amps only, uh, no direct in or no option for direct in. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's cool doing stuff like this. I have a lot of enjoyment of just tweaking with sounds and uh, getting other things out of it. If you do do modeling, I do think that this preamp is pretty cool. It's inexpensive. It adds some tonal options that aren't just mid highs, lows and all that stuff, but, uh, just, uh, cool saturation, some harmonic, um, content, just something cool to try out. Anyways, uh, thanks for bearing with me in this video and, uh, appreciate it.